Welcome back to the second uh, tips of the OpenShift version 4. Um, if you haven't seen the tips one, it's on the it's the how I run the container uh, ready for OpenShift version 4, and you will know why I'm using a Windows uh, container ready for OpenShift version 4. It's it's for convenience. You can just basically post it. Right, you can you can post it, and you can just suspend and then just just power it on, and just, there's nothing nothing to do. Unlike unlike with with CentOS, uh, it will break, so you have to recreate it, and it will take you 30 minutes to do that. So, and this one I can always just just basically uh, run it back, and it will be automatically uh, it will be there. So the purpose of, of this demonstration is to show you the how can you upgrade the the images, right? The the packages. Of course, you update that on the on the Docker pile. Um, by the way, um, you need Docker or Podman. Um, I'm still not. Uh, not good, not good with Pod, Podman because it's new, so it's, I'm still using the the Docker, and also it's better to use it in in Linux. So I have a, I have another Linux here uh, on my VMware workstation, and um, when you install the the Docker, you just follow the Docker here. Just just follow this one, and the most important thing is that. Uh, you can run the Docker as uh, as just the Docker. You don't need sudo. And also turn up the turn up the SE Linux. Mm. The only thing that you need to do after you install the Docker is that the user mod. Okay, you need to to put that to your to the group. You need to add the Docker to your to your user, and then reboot, and then you should be able just to run Docker. Okay, so I'll just demonstrate here. Uh, so if you have, if you need PIP, uh, this have no PIP. Yes, this is just PIP three. Okay, so it's version nine. So it's version nine. It's vulnerable, right? You need to update that. So how you update that is that um, I have version three here, and I either compile or, or upgrade on the command. Um, I use the the the, com the the Python compile. That's why I have. The two version, the PIP and the PI, PIP three, and both of them are version twenty one. So, but after you are done testing with 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 the with the images on the Docker, right? You can just test it on the on your on your OpenShift, right? But of course, it's better to use always the time uh, a prepared images. But I will demonstrate here anyway that. Uh, OpenShift 4 can also do the the compilation of the Docker file. You don't have to prepare, but but it's better to 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 have the image, right? But I will demonstrate the Docker file here. So I have the Docker file here. This is the the repo copied from the 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 builder of the OpenShift 4 Scarlog Scalorg. Um, so. This is the PIP. Let's go to the master first to discuss it to you. So let's make the the PIP not up, upgraded, right? So if we mark that, we will put the end so that it still continue here. And make sure you always do the cleanup. Okay, otherwise your 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 image will be big. Right, the purpose of the container is supposed to be a uh, slim, thin, right, like Alpine, but you cannot do anything with Alpine. Uh, 
Okay, so I have the I don't have builds right now, so I will just do uh, I will build the master. So it's running here the builds the build configs and the build the builds is really running and it's doing through all that uh, docker file so it pulls from query that's the first command and then do the, the do the yum update so right it's from the query io and then these are just very quick because this are is environment and exposed but this one will take a long time and it will do that now if you have a good eye you can you can see what re what's really go going on so this is probably the uh, doing the dependencies Okay, it's running the PIP. It's still running. And now it's almost done, the, the file permissions. And then there should be a successful and then complete. And then when we go to the pod, it's, it's doing the container creating of the, the real pod that will be running all the time. Um, so pi pi p three is version nine. This doesn't have pip because uh, we just do the upgrade. So if you have a scanner in your company, right? You can you will see that version nine is already uh, vulnerable. So it's something like this. Say hi. And you don't want to do that, right? Um, so to upgrade it is either you just do the upgrade of the PIP, right? By the way, there's an uh, an update here of the operating system, so it should it should update, right? But some others really don't. You cannot update. You have to do some a lot of tricks to do that, right? Especially with with the uh, YAM update. But we will not do this one instead. So for sure, this one will update, right? Because I was testing that um, that even if you upgrade like this, so it installed the the first one, right? The 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 base which is nine, and then it's upgrade to version twenty one because that's the last version, right? So I have another branch here. And I have the the you can get the you can get this 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 PIP tar twenty one if you search the 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 PIP which is from the company P P Y P A and then PIP and then click the release tag right and then from the release tag you download the the the, the latest one which is twenty one so in here we have to do add this copy that 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 uh, tar and then in here instead of upgrade we just compile it so the good thing with with python uh, uh, compile is just if you compile it like this you don't need that make or other libraries that you need to add so it's a little bit slimmer and then you do the you do the the clean up again so i already deleted the previous one so let's do the so if you want to add the the branch you just put the sharp and then pip21 the name of the branch and run it and there should be another rice oh, it's complete right away didn't i delete oh it's already exist i haven't deleted sorry guys
okay so it's deleted you can see it's none so let's run it back and you can see that it's already running and let's go to the logs and it's doing the build again and you see the prompts so this is the first instruction in the docker file the copying is there right okay so everything should be the same now I'm um, just just going to post so that you don't have to read sorry guys I don't edit <laughs> What it is, what it, what it is, what what you see on the on the YouTube. okay it should be done now push successful yes complete and then there will be another pod that is creating and then it's running now if you use the the, the, the compile you will have not only the PIP 3 you will also have the PIP uh, version 2 but all of them are, are updated to version 21 now with this one when you scan this one with your own uh, scanner with your company or um, unfortunately um, I was I was thinking that na, na, that that the scan that my scanner my company scanner will not see the the version 903 but it will still see it because this is the base the, the base uh, version which is 903 and um, uh, they 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 did the uh, lazy uh, the compilation there right so i think the the compilation here they did the lazy one um it's still it's still the it's still using the base one and then just just upgrade it on the the compilation so your your company will still have version 9 so that's the case that you need to um um, how do you call that one um, uh, um, continue or, or, or skip 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 that that, that uh, message that, that you need to continue that that the that the scan is not really uh, real right because you can see that the version here is, is is 21 and still is scanning at version 9 because in, uh, the compilation the one that created that that release still lazy right yeah, yeah. He, st he didn't use the the base one it's probably uh, he don't want all that all that big images too so but all others um, like like the, the the yam update it should you can do you can do that right but do not do do not do the update during in the pod it's only on the build right the explanation there that it should be the the container should be immutable should not be changeable except except the of course the, the logs so this will uh, end my demonstration on how how to update it's just challenging more to to update on 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 images and when you test it you, you can test it in pod i still don't know how I, I can only pull and 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 push in 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 podman but i cannot run it so what's the use of podman if you cannot use uh, if you cannot run it you you need a a real cluster with that one but um uh, i don't want to to run that one i only have a desktop right this is just a desktop but big big desktop because i can put a 22 gig right and eight processors so thanks you guys for watching and um Watch out for more uh, tips coming soon.